So in this question, we're given a triangle PQR. We're told that M is the midpoint of side QR. We're asked to find M's coordinates and also then find the equation of PM, the median of a triangle. Remember, the median goes from a vertex to the midpoint of an opposite side. So let's use this diagram to work through this question. So we've got the coordinates given. P is 0, negative 4. R is the point 10, 6. And Q is the point negative 6, 2. So part A, first part of that section, state the coordinates of M, the midpoint of QR. So we'll get M by finding the mean value of the coordinates of the endpoint. So we're taking a negative 6 and a 10, finding the mean of that, adding them up, dividing by 2, and the mean of the two Y coordinates, 2 and 6, so 2 plus 6 over 2. So negative 6 plus 10 is 4, 4 over 2 is 2, 2 plus 6 is 8, 8 over 2 is 4. So M is the point 2, 4. So let's add that information to our working diagram. So second part of section A, hence find the equation of PM, the median, through P. Now various ways of doing that, remember the equation of a straight line is either in this form, where that's the gradient, and that's where it crosses the y-axis, or it's in this form, y minus b equals m, x minus a, where a, b is a point on the line and m is the gradient. Now this first form, we do know where the point, the line pm crosses the y-axis. It's at 0, negative 4. So this value would be negative 4. But we'd still have to find the gradient of this line. So first off, let's find the gradient of the line joining P to M. And remember, that's the Y difference over the X difference. So the difference of the two Y coordinates, 4 minus negative 4, over the X difference, 2 minus 0. So that's 4 plus 4 is 8, over 2, so it's 4. And check on your diagram, that makes sense. 1 along, 4 up is looking pretty good for the gradient of that line. So gradient is 4. Y-intercept is negative 4. Equation is y equals mx plus c y equals, remember, gradient is 4, so there's your mx, plus c, plus negative 4. So that's just written as minus 4. So the equation is y equals 4x minus 4. So this line here, we can label it y equals 4x minus 4. So let's have a look now at part B. Find the equation of the line L passing through M and perpendicular to PR. Well, let's put that in a different colour. So it passes through M and it's at right angles to the line PR. So again, finding the equation of the line, we have to find its gradient. And we'll use y minus b equals mx minus a, where a, b is a point we know is on the line, and m is the gradient. Because we do know 2, 4 is on the line, but we need to work out its gradient. Now we know the line is perpendicular to pr. So if we find the gradient of pr and use our 
perpendicular gradient result, then we should be well on our way. So the gradient of the line joining P to R, Y difference, 6 minus negative 4, over 10 minus 0. So that 6 minus negative 4 is 10, over 10. It's got a gradient of 1, 1 along, 1 up. That looks OK for that gradient. So therefore, the gradient of a line perpendicular to that line, remember we invert this 1 upon 1 and change the sign. Well, that will just give us negative 1. The other way of thinking about it is when we multiply these two numbers, we have to get negative 1. So that's the perpendicular gradient, gradient of the red line that we're looking after here. So the gradient is negative 1. Point on line is 2, 4. So the equation of the line, and as we said, we're using y minus b equals mx minus a. So it is y minus the y coordinate, 4 equals the gradient, negative 1, times x minus the x-coordinate. So let's tidy that up. That'll give us y minus 4 equals, I'm getting rid of brackets, negative x plus 2. So adding 4 to both sides, y equals negative x plus 6, or y plus x equals 6 is another way of, of writing that. So there's the equation of the perpendicular to PR that passes through M. Finally, let's have a look at part C. Show that line L passes through a midpoint of PR. So is this point here? the midpoint of PR. So first of all, we'll need to know where the midpoint of PR is. So the midpoint we'll call it N of PR is remember we find the mean of the x, that's 0 plus 10 over 2, and the mean of the y coordinates, negative 4 plus 6. So that'll be 10 over 2 is 5, and negative 4 plus 6 is 2, 2 over 2 is 1. So the midpoint of PR is the point N, 5, 1. So the question is, does 5, 1 lie on this red line, which we know has equation y equals negative x plus 6. So do these x and y values work in this equation? When x is 5, is negative 5 plus 6 equal to 1? Yes, it is. So let's write this down. When x equals 5, y equals negative 5 plus 6, which is 1. So since x equals 5, y equals 1, satisfy this equation. then N lies on the red line. And so line L passes through the midpoint of PR. That's what we've shown.